today, we want to make sure that we, you know, recognize as a result of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 um, that there has been some great changes made, but there is still lots of work to do. And as many have uh, cited today, which was very surprising, uh, they talked about Ferguson in Missouri. And while some folks have been able to become educated, Dr. Bethel, uh, there is a large segment of our nation's population, specifically African American males, who have not had the same opportunity as everyone else. And I think what we're seeing here in Ferguson, it was just a powder keg that has been brewing for quite some time. And uh, this unfortunate incident with Michael Brown just brought it to, you know, to light. And there's so many other things that are, um, that are really needing attention in, in, in Ferguson. Not just the, the police action, there's, there's educational issues, there, there are jobs issues, there are housing issues that uh, many of the vulnerable residents are experiencing. But just in very quickly, both of you, could you kind of give me your sense on what the uh, Civil Rights Act has done um, for the entire nation uh, over the past 50 years? 